Hi everybody and welcome to this demo of Informatica Cloud Templates. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Salesforce Aggregation Template. So first, when you go on Informatica Marketplace, locate the Salesforce Aggregator Template and click on the free download button. Then, you will be prompted to save a zip file. Go ahead and save the file to a location on your hard drive. Within the Informatica Cloud application, click on Configuration, and then under that, click on Integration Templates. Then, click on New to create a new integration template. Go ahead and give your template an easy to remember name. Once you're done with that, find the folder where you stored the XML file and click OK to continue. You will then be presented with all the parameters for your template and this is where you go ahead and figure out the look and feel of the template for your end user to consume. And as you can see there's all sorts of parameters for the Salesforce source object, the targets, and the filters. So start by first configuring the Salesforce source object. In the display order go ahead and select one because that's the first thing that you want users to see when they're creating a custom integration task using your template. Under valid connection types you want to make sure that it's Salesforce only connections for this particular template. Next we're going to go ahead and configure the target. Now for this target object your display order is going to be one as well but if you had multiple targets you would select the display order to match the order you wanted them to appear for the final user. As far as connection types, you want to leave it as all connection types in this particular case. Next, you're going to edit the display properties for the filter condition for the source. What you're basically doing here is you're allowing the user to select a Salesforce object and then filter out data based on a pre-specified condition. So the input control in this case is going to be set to condition in order to allow your end users to accomplish that. Next, we're going to configure the display properties for the group by field. What this field does is it, it allows the user to group the aggregated information by a certain field within the chosen source object within Salesforce. So we want this to be displayed in display order 2 after you've configured your source filters. And we're going to leave the input as a text box. we finally get to the meat of the template which is the aggregate field map now this is the part of the template that we want to appear last in the user interface so we're going to go ahead and select the display order to be three because we want it to appear after all the other fields have been entered so go ahead and select three for the display order and now for the input control make sure you select field mapping you need to choose field mapping for any sort of parameter where the display properties 
are going to be mapping fields between source and target. So go ahead and give some descriptive names for the left and the right columns representing your source and your target. Now that you've gone ahead and entered all your display parameters, go ahead and save your templates. And now you're ready to begin your custom integration task. Make sure that you select custom integration under the data services tab and not the data synchronization tab. You'll need to select this in order to run any custom integration tasks using templates. Click New to begin your custom integration task and give it an easy to remember name. What we're trying to do in this particular custom integration task is to get a view of all the accounts and the total number of opportunities they have above a certain revenue amount. So go ahead and select the integration template and you'll notice that you'll see the aggregation template that you just created. Now you're ready to select your source. And in the drop down, you'll notice that Salesforce is your only connection available. And this is because when you were configuring the display parameters, remember that you restricted the choice of your source to Salesforce. And as far as the object, since we want to get a list of opportunities for accounts that are greater than a certain amount, we're going to go ahead and select the opportunity object. Once you do that, you get a list of all the current opportunities in your pipeline, a great preview, and then you can go ahead and click Next. Now we're going to select our target connection. So you can pretty much choose from a variety of different targets, but in this case we're going to basically choose a flat file target. And our target object is going to be a flat file CSV target. Make sure you create this flat file ahead of time with the respective columns that you want. And what you'll see here in the flat file that I've created is that I've created two columns, the account name and the aggregated amount of opportunities for each of those accounts. Now the final step in this custom integration task is to go ahead and enter your various filter parameters and filter conditions. Now you'll notice that the various parameters are appearing in the exact same display order that you selected while configuring them in the template section. So the first particular filter that we're going to enter is a source filter. And of course, the object that we want here is the opportunity object. And in this case, we want to make sure that we get an aggregate of all the opportunities that have a revenue amount that's greater than or equal to a hundred thousand dollars. Now it's time to enter the group by filter. What you want to enter in this particular field is the field that you want to view this aggregated information by. Make extremely sure that the field name that you enter matches what you see 
under the aggregate field map parameter details from your Salesforce source object. And in this case, we want the account name. So once I've gone ahead and entered that, I go ahead and do a drag and drop to map the name in Salesforce to the account name column in my ops.csv flat file that I just created. Once you've matched fields, it's now time to edit the expression. So in this case, since I want a sum of all the opportunities with a revenue amount greater than 100,000, I got to put in the sum expression around amount. And now I'm ready to save my custom integration task and run it in order to see the information that I want. So go ahead and click on the green button in order to run your custom integration task. Once your custom integration task has successfully executed, you can now go into your flat file to view all your aggregated information. So what you see here is a list of your accounts and an aggregated amount of opportunities that are greater than $100,000. So for example, Burlington Textiles has $235,000 worth of opportunities that are greater than $100,000. Thanks for watching this demo of the Salesforce aggregation template and for more templates, check out the Informatica Marketplace.